So I know it's been a while since we've had one of these really weird talks, but I'm telling you this video is kind of embarrassing for me, but I decided to share it with you guys because I believe it's going to inspire a lot of me bros and me gals out there. So what I'm talking about is my high school photo. Specifically one photo that is the video game club photo. I was part of the video game club and I don't know if you guys have seen my other interviews or podcasts, but I talk about how I had no friends and I was bullied in middle school and high school. This high school photo of me in the video game club is the very definition of, of scary. <laughs> It was crazy because I had showed a couple of my close friends and their reactions were holy c she looks really crazy. But before I show you guys the picture, because of course I want to make sure that the suspense is there, I want to talk about how I was bullied. I had no friends in middle school and high school and I remember a specific memory of me in middle school with my rolling backpack, my yellow rolling backpack, and as I was going through the hallways, kids would kick it. I remember sitting in the quad area and it was literally just me eating by myself and it was the saddest thing in the entire world. I would just wait for lunch to end because I was like so lonely. I was bullied for a really long time and it's because I didn't know how to talk to people. I was so scared of being judged and it's not like I hated people, I wanted to love people and I didn't know how. In high school I also had pimples and I have really long hair and I would use my hair to hide my pimples. So I don't know if you've seen a lot of videos but I actually have scars on the side because I would scratch my face because my pimples got so bad at one point that I had to see a dermatologist to hide my face because I thought I was not beautiful whatsoever. I thought I was like the ugliest person in the entire world and looking back I was so harsh on myself. So scared of everyone else judging me that I didn't realize that I judged myself. It all changed kind of, when I went to the video game club, and it wasn't out of my own will, my older sister dragging me to the video game club, but the first day, it was just amazing. And keep in mind, this was before anyone knew advanced techniques. The video game club was life-changing. That's where I played Melee for the first time, and I got taught by some of the best players. I was so happy to finally be able to communicate with people who had the same interests. Luckily, at the same time, I was taking art classes. I took art one and I took ceramics one as well. So I was really heavily into art. The reason why I loved art is because I could talk about the things that I made and the art pieces that I drew. And I didn't have to talk so much about myself and it allowed me that shield in between people to where I could have a conversation but it, they, it didn't have to get too deep. I guess timing was just perfect because having to dive into art and video games at the same time, it allowed me to make some really cool things in ceramics class. So I actually made my first Kirby out of clay, and keep in mind, it's like ceramics clay, so you need a kiln and everything to be able to harden it and stuff, and it's just a different type of clay. So you can imagine how ugly it really looked. <laughs> so my friend CJ would have me make figurines for people and then he would sell it in tournaments. I finally got to be able to share my love of video games and art with, with other human beings and I finally made my own friends and that's my main goal for this channel and for my art and for Nintendo is to inspire others to chase after their dreams but at the same time to be kind to each other and to help each other out as much as possible. I was bullied for a reason, and that reason is to become a motivational speaker one day. I always get asked the question, what Gunda Chris means. By the way, my real name is Christine, 
and it has this really weird spelling to it. So of course, all my handles for my social media is Gunda Chris or Miss Gunda Chris, and I know people are wondering why. And the reason why is because I'm half Filipino and half Spanish. In Tagalog, which is my native language for Filipino, maganda means beautiful. And I hope this doesn't sound conceited. The reason why I call myself beautiful is because I find it really important to do self-awareness. And at the time, I knew that there were things I needed to work on I needed to change and change is so hard because you can't change unless you want to. Don't ever change for someone else and that's really important to have that self-awareness. You know you're not doing it because someone is telling you to, you're doing it because you want to. By calling myself beautiful, by being the first person to call myself beautiful was such a confidence booster. You need to love yourself first. So that's why it's really important that I had called myself beautiful. Not because I thought I was extravagant and I looked pretty in the outside. Like, no, I called myself beautiful because I knew in my heart that I was beautiful inside and out, that I was a good person and that if I wanted to change, that I needed to love myself first. Just love yourself, because once you love yourself, you'll have enough love to give to others, and I truly, truly believe that. So, <laughs> without further ado, here is the really embarrassing picture of me in high school. This is the reason why I was bullied and this is the reason why I am telling you this story so that it inspires you or anyone out there who is facing bullying and trolls and haters and whatever you want to call them. It gets better. <laughs> Here's the picture that I, I've tried to hide for years and I am sorry if it scares you. For me, for my confidence, let's do this. When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. Let me tell you, I've been really hesitant to show this to anyone, but I know that this story will help someone out there. If someone is getting bullied or hated on or judged, I know that it hurts and it sucks, but just know it's all temporary. I'm allowed to live a life that I truly love with my friends, family, and Jason. I would have never imagined myself meeting and interacting with these amazing individuals. I'm telling you, they're invited to my future wedding and my kids will play with their kids. I would have never imagined this life, but it's obtainable. And I don't want anyone thinking that, you know, just because you're bullied, that it's gonna always be that way because it's not. I wanna thank my friends and family for always making so many memories with me and being there through all the hard times in my life. And I thank video games for allowing me to make my first friends. Being a nerd is the coolest thing in the entire world and I cannot thank the video game club enough for letting me see life the way it truly is supposed to be lived. So if anyone is watching this video and needs help, please don't be scared to reach out and ask for it. And for those who have never been bullied but have seen bullying and maybe that kid on the corner that is really quiet and shy and has no friends, please come up to them and say hi. If someone would have gone up to me in high school and just said hello and gave me their time, it would have meant the entire world. So if you see anyone in your school who is shy, quiet, and scared, please be a friend to them. Say hello and let them know that life gets better. I hope that this story has inspired you guys to 
don't be so harsh on yourselves. Be happy with what you have in life and appreciate your friends and family for always being there. Thank you again for giving me your time. Time is so precious and I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I miss and love you, Ami Bros, as always. Hopefully, I will see you guys next time.